Welcome to Cool Happenings. Everything I find cool and amazing. Your one-stop channel for all your accessible tech solutions. Hey there! Subscribe to my channel and also press this bell icon. So you never miss any new updates cause whenever we upload new video you will get a notification on your phone. Welcome to Cool Happenings Tech Accessibility Channel. And in today's demonstration I would like to talk about another special device also part of Apple's line of technology Apple technology called Apple Watch and in today's demonstration I would like to talk about a special feature which we voice or users uh, didn't may not have realized or may not be aware of uh, new changes some new changes with the latest watch OS update it's the 5.2.1 watch OS update Okay, I recently updated it about around a week back and I came to realize about this feature just a few days back and thought I'll demonstrate for us who may not be aware of it, who may be intending to buy a watch but may be having doubts just because of this feature not being able or being available. Now it's uh, there, Apple has made it, uh, you know, uh, doable and it's called the water lock feature now if you are a swimmer or you just like dipping in the pool and you have your apple watch turned on for swimmers especially you may normally want to turn on you know um, water lock so to protect your phone from being damaged due to um, due to damage by water but in the, on the most part, enabling water lock was not so much of an issue, more than disabling it. Many people have asked me, how do you turn, easily turn off water lock on the Apple Watch? Now in the past, we could do it easily as well, it's not really a big issue, but requires some extra maneuvering of uh, you know, some extra taps on your Apple Watch. Apple says to disable water lock, in the past you'd have to just turn the crown counterclockwise a couple of times till you hear some beeps and indicating that water lock has been disabled. But with VoiceOver it wasn't the case because with VoiceOver turned on on your Apple Watch, you will not be able to just turn your digital crown counterclockwise and have it be disable water lock. It will not work because you have, if you have cloud navigation set to on, you will not be able to turn off water lock on your Apple Watch. So previously we, we also users would have to first turn off cloud navigation by doing a triple tap with two fingers on the watch screen and then Turning the crown counterclockwise a couple of times would turn off water lock on your watch. Now with the new update, there's no reason the case. You can do what all of the rest of us do, even the non voiceover users or using Apple Watch. Just uh, let me show you. Now what you do is the same thing. You just okay. First you go to control center. Alarm. Enable auto speed. Notifications. Control center. Control center. I would swipe to water lock and double tap to turn it on. Wi-Fi. Ping iPhone. 100. Mute. Do not disturb. Theater mode. Water lock. Switch button. Off. Visual off. Double tap. Disables touch interaction. Two on three forty three. Voice over says the moment I turned on water lock, voice over mentioned disables touch interaction. And that's true because when you turn on touch interaction, sorry, when you turn on water lock, it basically stops the amount of all water from getting into your watch by mainly you know, closing the holes uh, which is where your 
world speaker lies. It stops for taking from getting through those small minute holes and water can get through and may cause irreversible damage. But with water log turned on, it stops water from going in and thereby protecting your watch from permanent damage due to water going into the internal system of your watch. But you know with water log turned on you are protected. But in the you know, now uh, to turn off water lock you just need to turn the crown navigation from the clockwise a couple of times. Now with the current new latest watch update, I realize the feature in avoids even for watch for users, you don't need to have crown navigation turned off or switched off to be able to turn off water lock. Now I have one, okay, I have turned on water lock. Let me wake up my watch. Crown navigation is still on. Because I want now I'll just rotate my crown, did the crown because it goes to sleep. I'll wake up my watch and rotate the crown clockwise, a counterclockwise a couple of times, and you'll hear some beeps indicating that water lock has been turned off. The beeps is basically the speakers pushing or elim eliminating water from the grill, the speaker grills. You will do that a couple of seconds and thereby removing all water and your phone will be as, as brand new as it has never been in the water in fact. Let me wake up my watch. 3.45 a.m. Good. Right then. Beeping and suddenly one loud beep. That indicates, indicating that water lock has been switch off or turned off. Now if you swipe on your screen, voice over speaks normally indicating that indicating water lock has been turned off. That's how easy it is with this uh, new watch update and I hope there will be many more you know, changes to accessibility where we are able to operate our phones similarly as non voice over users do in the same manner, just read voice show enabled. Okay, so a small demonstration. If you like these demonstrations we do, please consider subscribing to receive notifications whenever new and important videos are added. And hit the like button because I'm sure doing so would motivate my team and I to make many more accessible based tech tutorials on all platforms, whether it may be for Windows, Android, and the iOS based platforms all with screen reader users in mind. Till I see you again.